So to, to uh, set the program on, on the key banger, you gotta go ahead and unplug the key banger. You hold down this first blue button, and while you're holding it down, plug the power back in and continue to hold it down. You'll see the LED lights flicker. As soon as they start flickering fast like that, then you push down this green button, and that starts the program. This first button here lets the spider go in and out. There's in, or I mean out, and let it go, and it goes back in. The second one will raise the head. You can see it raises the head. See how the legs move? No matter which button I push, the legs move at the time I'm holding the button down. Okay, the next button, I'm going to continue to hold this one down because I want to, you can see that the jaws better. This next button is the jaws. So I'm going to push this on and off, and you can see the jaws are moving open and close. The next button is the spitter. So I'm going to push this, and you'll see the, the unit spit water. Okay, and you let it go, and it, let, it shuts off. I'm going to do it again. Okay, and then the next button is swing left. And then you have swing right, and these you have to be a little bit, a little bit lighter with. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing it one way, and let it go, and then I'm gonna let it swing the other way. And I'm gonna let it go. And these are these are kind of violent, so you got to be careful when you're programming it that you don't just hold them on and slam it real hard. It's hard to make a prop fast and not so fast that it destroys itself. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it out again, and I got the, the head up and down, as you can see it happening out there, the jaws, the spit, and while it's extended, I'm going to make it go over the other way. So I'm just pushing all kinds of buttons now. So anyway, that's the program I just wrote right there. And either to end the program, you either hit the green button to end the program, or when you've entered so many inputs that you fill the chip up, it'll automatically stop the program and save it, which that's what I just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and reprogram it again to a new program, one that's probably a little bit nicer. Well, well, before I do that, though, I do want to show you each time I select a solenoid, the corresponding LED will light up. That's showing like that's a spitter one. Let's see, what we got it. We have the the tilt one on right now. There's the spitter again. Let's see what we get next here. This is the in and out. That's the head tilt. That's the jaws. That's the spitter. That's the left, and that's the right. And as, as you see the program operating the solenoids, you can see the different LEDs lighting up. So we're gonna go ahead and write a new program here. So I'm gonna turn this thing off. And I'm gonna start with the program. Program's a little tricky, it takes a while to get used to, you know, getting the coordination of all the buttons. So I'm gonna pull the button down, Plug in the power, watch the lights. As soon as I see them flickering fast, then I push the green button, starts the program. And first thing, that's throw out, head tilt, jaw open, spit. So I'm just gonna sit there and So we'll call that a program, and that's how you end the program right there. Okay, so now the program's set. And I'm going to go ahead and play the program back. This button here basically plays the program back. This cable here is what you would send to your to your um, pressure pad or your... your uh, what do you call those things? PRI switch? PIR? PIR switch, right? motion sensor, all of those kind of things. So what ha how this circuit works is when it is open circuit, when it's broken, that starts the program. So there you go, there's the program we just wrote and it's running it now.
I'm gonna I'm gonna put the body back on and then we'll go ahead and start the program again. And since I had the I had the uh, little uh, bypass out for the trigger, it automatically re-triggered the program to start again. So that's why it's automatically starting back up again. Now we'll restart because I have the piece in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put the body part back in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the back here and I'll start the program and then you can see it working so if you might want to stand up front here. Okay, so to trigger you can get an open circuit. I can do it also by pushing this green button here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the green button so you can see, see it in action. And this is the program we just wrote. So here it goes. 